What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to more Armor Core 6. And check this out. Finally took the time to go through and made my logo. 30 pieces, not too bad. Could definitely tweak it up a little bit, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Uh, besides that, also spent some time just bullying that poor AC to get the Titan or the Tian Kyung which is just like super heavyweight compared to everything else, but it's within parameters and it puts me over 10,000 AP, close to 11, and it has a nice little spot to slap my logo. So we're ready to go. We are ready to sortie and get on out there. And let's get started with attacking the damn complex. Got a job for you, 621. You're joining an operation planned by Balaam HQ. Check the briefing. Heard the good news from Walter, did ya? Good. Sit your ass down and listen. Balaam's moving in on the Gallia Dam complex, one of the Liberation Front's bases. The objective is to destroy their lifeline and make those sacks of shit beg for mercy. I'll be sending two good-for-nothing maggots from the Red Guns, Gun 4 Volta and Gun 5 Iguasu. You? You're just gonna be tagging along on ass-wiping duty. I'm assigning you the call sign Gun 13, a lucky little number that just became available. Gun 13, sound off! Good enough. Now go get ready! We're going on a field trip, kiddo! Okay, Mr. Army Man. So we are still rocking uh, the bazooka along with the I'll stick with six, two, one. laser blade. Don't let the red guns teach you bad manners. Messed around a little bit. I was trying double bazookas briefly. I was trying uh, linear rifle and bazookas. Once I get back weapons unlocked, that'll definitely open things up, but... For now, at least, I'm better off having access to, to both. this hope you're enjoying the field trip kids don't wet your pants now this is going to be shot gun five no luck with the sewing club i see oh get you for a good gun pilot better than you so i did not fight this the last time i played I think that might have been one of those targets that I have to hunt down. I definitely didn't fight that in the preview.
boys having fun over there? Gotta spread the logo a little bit, make it a little wider. It's like a skinny, skinny cowboy logo. Some easy money. Man, what did we get? Arms, mind alpha. Let's take a look at them. I don't even know you. <laughs> Dude's talking all this shit. Like, I've done one mission with you. Uh... There we go. Okay. Assembly. Good AP, good defenses. Firearm or melee specialization. Let's see. Higher values core. Oh, so this actually directly impacts attack power. Okay, so I'm sacrificing attack power in favor of more defense across the board on this. But regardless, it goes over my current load limit, so that is not happening. There are new parts that I'm not seeing. Ooh, new head. Lightweight arms. Same legs. I'm gonna hold off because I know once I get access to like tank leggings or something, those are gonna be pretty heavy. Usually like three, four hundred thousand too, so I need to save up money. comes from Schneider, an Archivist subsidiary. The mission will take place in the Bona Dea dunes of Western Bellius. Our coral investigation there is being blocked by the Strider, a Rubicon Liberation Front mining ship. You are to destroy it. The Strider is a mobile resource base that was extensively weaponized by the Liberation Front. Call it the 
crowning glory of their efforts to militarize into an anti-corporate force. Your attack will focus on the eye, a giant laser cannon connected directly to the main generator. It's protected by a shield, which is powered by auxiliary sub-generators. These should be your first targets. This concludes the briefing. Good luck. Time for a little self-promotion, 621. Smash the Strider, and Archibus HQ will be sure to remember your name. It's assuming the Strider doesn't smash me. This armor is heavier, but my uh, quick boost isn't as good as it was, so we'll see if I can dodge this well. about half of my energy. An unidentified AC. Must be one of the corporation's dogs. Activate the eye. Burn them away. Yes, sir! Coral! Abide with Rubicon! Abide with Rubicon. Oh, God! I was not protected in cover. careful on this thing it's very easy to accidentally get blasted while you're trying to get these targets Ooh, 
don't like that. I'm way too close to the eye. Okay. up. Too close to that eye for comfort. Just gonna hang out right here. Much cleaner than the, than the last time I tried doing this. It's definitely nice, like, having done a couple of these. I know a little bit of the shenanigans. Obviously, that ends as soon as we get to Chapter 2. I wonder if I need to darken my logo. It's very bright. It definitely, definitely stands out. Not bad. It's pretty cheap expenses. Answer is no. 
I hear you're deploying V-1 again. Must be rough only having one good pilot to rely on. Oh? Are you suggesting your dog can take Freud's place? You'll see. Just give us the chance. Very well, then. We're also deploying V-4. Who's been equally brazen of late? Let's see how they both perform. I think we unlocked a new a new training, maybe? It's either now or it's after the next one. Raven, your work on the Strider deserves commendation. I am thrilled to have issued you the request. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Archivist Group's mercenary liaison. V8 Pater, at your service. I think I'll enjoy doing business with you. Yep, new training. New parts, hell yes. So I wonder where I change my my emblem. Hmm. Display license menu. Here we go. Emblem name cowboy. There we go. I'm gonna stretch it a little bit. I'll I'll fix that later. But there we go. Now I have my, my emblem on. Uh, let's take a look. What do we have now? We have the shotgun, which I like. Laser rifle is always nice. Plasma rifle. Plasma explosions create a damage inflicting area. Okay. Same for the other arm. We got the back laser cannon, which I liked a lot the last time I was playing. Oh man, vertical plasma missiles are super good. We got some jumpy legs. Stability and defensive performance for exceptional jumping. This is my thing with reverse joint, man. They're just, they're fast. They're meant to be quick and zippy, and that's just like the opposite of how I play. Um, how many lock-ons do we get? Well, we have an eight lock. Four. Mm, do 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 do. Way more attack power. Impact on them is good. Guidance is good. I mean, it might be worth doubling up. Just because I know what we're up against. And vertical missiles are one of the best things for that encounter. So let me buy double vertical. Uh, actually, hang on. I gotta hope I'm not going. Oh, that's what I was worried about. Okay, let me let me load up. Um, for this next fight, and then okay. No, our legs are good. It's our energy. Hang on. I liked this gen though. Man, my recharge is gonna go to ass, but it's gonna give me that pinch of capacity. No, hang on. No, our energy is fine. It's our load. Why did I. Hang on. Art shop. Bye. That would definitely give me the capacity I need. These would, and these are better defense all around. Crappier jump distance, which is less than ideal for the upcoming encounter. Even worse. Um, let's go. Let's go with those. Okay. Barely hitting the burden mark. And before we wrap up... Well, we're at 25 minutes. 
Wall climber is a long ass mission. So let's let's bang out the the training now. And then that way we can focus on wall climber in the next episode. As soon as I can double up on Gatlings, it's actually a playstyle I'm really, really fond of. It's like a mortar shot. Just sure, I will make a, a zippy AC like this at some point. It's one of those things where, you know, funds are, are tight at the moment. to actually like I had like a heavy reverse joint double shotgun build that did some serious cheat clapping back in five Launcher, then clap some cheeks. I think that ricochet basically is just telling me that I'm not really getting any any damage with that. Yeah, I definitely like that shoulder mounted.
grenade launcher, that thing packs a punch. There's a handgun. Anything new? Let me take a look at the other parts that we just unlocked. So, the generator. Ooh, real big capacity. Absolute dog water recharge, though. Well, no, actually, it's better than that one. Hmm. The weight's higher, obviously. But it is better energy output, and it does pump me up. I was really liking the super fast recharge. Wait, am I not over capacity? I guess because I swapped to... Huh. I thought I had an energy shortfall. Where am I at? I'm like literally right on the cusp with energy load and current load, but... Uh, total arms load, load limit. Wow, I'm 100 under the load limit and 50 under the energy output limit. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you got a ton of thrust. Your upward sucks. Your quick boost is good. Your quick boost reload time is good. It's an AB thrust. Assault boost. Melee attack thrust is really high. That's going to go on a different AC for sure. Close range assist. All right. Well, we're going to wrap things up here. Y'all stay tuned, and we'll have more coming your way soon.